So, I just bought a 3D printer. Printer acquired. With absolutely no knowledge on how to use it. But what I did know how to use is 3D modeling software. This is where you build whatever you want from scratch to then print. And what you're watching right now is my first test print. And as it started moving and laying down its first layers of plastic, my housemates and I were captivated. This is pretty cool. Should have some seats. <laughs> <laughs> For three watch hours to watch go. Watch go. <laughs> what are you printing? Better than any movie. Uh, I'm printing some cheese. Some cheese? Cheese indeed. I watched for the first time ever a file on a computer become a physical object. And that's the magic of 3D printing. With my confidence boosted by a successful print, I shifted my focus to the main goal that I bought this for. A 3D printed drone. Starting with making the arms. the part where bending is most likely to occur, I decided to do a bend test. Oh, gosh. Oh. Now it might seem promising looking at the struggle on my face to break that, but it's actually not. Okay. Just as important as what point it breaks is how much it bends before that. So we need to make this thing more rigid, and the way that we fix this might be more simple than you think. Ever since a child I've been running wild, I've been raising hell. This is a pretty ordinary car park, but above me here, we have a pretty sick invention, the H-beam. This beam is designed to have an incredibly high strength to weight ratio and increased rigidity compared to a standard rod, which I think will make it ideal to make the drone arms flex less. And that's all well and good in theory, but to see if this translates to 3D printing, we're gonna print three other strong designs so we can know for sure which one is going to be the most rigid. And so there's no biases. Here's my partner, Lauren, to test them out. That's pretty stiff. That's pretty stiff. That's also quite stiff. That's pretty stiff. Which one do you reckon is the stiffest? Definitely not the rectangle. Uh, I'd say the triangle also feels weak now that I've felt these other two. They both seem really the same. Each one looks cooler though. Okay. <laughs> so we started working with the H profile arms. To make it easier to replace parts, I'm also building it out in pieces like a normal FPV drill. looks insane. This is a fully 3D printed drone frame. With the basic form done, it was now time to start looking at the electronics. So this is the, the strat I was going with, with trying to keep the cables hidden. So they're gonna be going inside the arms and then they'll be just guided by these prongs here, going into the ESC board. I. I'm pretty happy with that. That's That looks pretty sick. There's a lot of components to drones that are absolutely necessary to make it fly. So over the next week, I added improvements to hold these components. Adding a top plate, more room for the flight controller, antenna mounts at the rear, a battery port at the top, landing gear, and camera supports at the front. We also made some very crucial structural changes to the arms. Firstly, adding cable holes for better integration and a way to secure the arms to the body. I've put little slots here that will hold nuts and then you can screw them down here on each side so every arm has a nut hole um, and then a screw hole here and you can tighten each of the arms. I also used this same system to attach the top plate and with the next version now complete, we printed it out. And just to give you an idea of how long this takes, this print took 15 hours in total, but it was worth it because putting it together, everything went a lot better than expected. The arm and top plate joints worked extremely well, being able to hold the whole thing together like it was one piece. And that's it. That is, as long as the electronics fit, the frame design. The frame is pretty much ready. I haven't tested putting any components onto it yet. So what we're doing at the moment is we're going to remove all the components from this drone and then we'll move it to this drone. So we'll start with the stacks and then we'll do the motors and then we'll do the camera. And bit by bit, I transferred the components. 
Okay, so that's the flight controller that's come off. That is the VTX and the camera. The next step is to take the ESC off and that is all soldered in here. So we need to remove these points one by one. While I'm unsoldering the components, let me draw your attention to the propellers. These are actually 3D printed propellers that I tested in a YouTube short and they didn't go that well and the drone ended up crashing because they had so little lift. So we're not going to be using these in the video and instead we're gonna focus on the frame. So from here, all the work was reassembling all the components on the new frame. Perfect. Yeah, I know I'm fully attracted. I'm hanging on like a fridge to a magnet. Just a couple of burning matches. A good time is the best bad habit. I pull a toothpick and fancy cheeses. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. It just, it just shut up. Completely clueless to why this happened, I had to assume that I programmed the flight controller wrong. But when I plugged it into the computer, there was nothing out of the ordinary, so it can't be that. My next best guess was that I either didn't calibrate the flight controller, or it was vibrating slightly, messing up the sensors. But we can't know for sure since it's all mangled now. So over the next day, I reprinted the frame with a few adjustments to make it more rigid. I added the electronics into the new frame, and now it was time to give it one more go. We haven't really changed anything since the last flight other than reinforcing the base plate and the arms. We've also kind of checked everything on beta flight and there doesn't seem to be any issues. So I'm not really sure, but if this doesn't work, I don't really know what else we can do. So let's pray this works. Last time it shot up just when I was arming it. So we're just going to see what it's doing when I arm it. In three, two, one. Oh my god. <sighs> now I knew for certain the flight controller, the wiring and the programming was correct, which meant one thing. There was something fundamentally wrong with the frame. So that's three arms broken. But knowing this and having no idea what the issue actually was, I ended up not touching the project for the next month. Thinking this just wasn't possible, I mentally scrapped the project and started working on other videos. But sometimes inspiration strikes in the most unlikely places. And for this project, it was Instagram Reels. While scrolling through one day, I came across this video from a super small page from someone who had done the same thing. Now okay, part of me was bummed that someone had already done it, but it also meant that it was possible. So I thought, why don't we just take it to the extreme? It's been... About three weeks since the last time we've touched this project. I've spent a bit of time this morning redesigning the drone. Under the assumption that the drone was flexing and vibrating and so messing with the computer, I thickened the arms even more, adding almost double the material to them. This also meant adding a lot more material to the base plate. The whole idea of running the cables internally was also thrown out of the window. Functionality was the only thing I'm thinking about now. The next change we made was instead of having one screw to secure the arms, we were going to use two. That way each arm doesn't have a pivot point and it's going to be locked in. Alright, it's connected, so I'm arming it. And we're going to give it a bit of throttle. And after months, we had our first hovering 3D printed drone. But 
Does this really prove that we have a workable 3D printed frame? I don't think so. To really test if it can take the forces of a drone, we need to see its ability to freestyle. And I know just the place to test this. It feels like months of work have led up to this. I don't know if I'm just being dramatic, but it just feels like every corner we turned for this project, there was more obstacles. We're at the final stage now, and I hope that this is where it all comes together. This life, this love was always meant to be a wild, crazy adventure. Discovering the thrill, the rush, the more of you I see, the more it leaves me wanting you everything.